Hello dear friends, welcome to our next video. In today's class, we are continuing the previous topic uh, that is the nematode. We have completed one video in that we have seen the morphology and all. Today we are continuing it and uh, we will see the life cycle and the symptoms exhibited by it and its extraction methods. Come, let's begin. Nematodes. First, let's see the life cycle. It has yet stage, four juvenile stage, and one adult stage. And a special thing about this is the first juvenile and first mold occurs in egg itself. First, the adults lay the egg, and the eggs will be there in the soil and the place where it lays. And there it develops into a first juvenile stage. There it undergoes first molting, then it comes out and the juvenile too. It is a very important stage in terms of plant parasites. It is a very important stage uh, in point of view of uh, agriculture because this is the stage that is very harmful for many plants and it is the parasitic character, it possesses the parasitic character. So then it undergoes second molt and develops into a juvenile 3 stage then third mold juvenile 4 and fourth mold then it develops into an adults where it can be differentiated into male and female till there we can't differentiate it. it's either male or female and all and there exists a special characters in these nematodes that is embryogenesis see embryogenesis has been observed in the nematodes so they can from the adults they can directly develop into a juvenile stage, juvenile 1 stage. Now we shall see how the spread of these nematodes occur uh, in the soil or in the plants. They actually move very slowly in the soil. Slowly they approach the plant but their movement will be faster when it comes to pores. Now let's see the symptoms. Means before seeing the symptoms, there are underground and above ground symptoms. Before that, Let's see what are the effects of the secretions of the nematodes in the plant. See, usually when the nematode approaches a plant, it causes damage or injury at the site of feeding. That's what she said. The cause injury at the point of site of feeding, the secretion of the nematodes lead to suppression of cell division in the meristem. In the meristematic cells, they suppress the cell division and stoppage the root growth and development of necrotic lesions means uh, the death of those lesions cells occurs then the destruction of cell wall complete destruction of the cell wall occurs then so the cells they exhibit the hypertrophic character and forms the galls we can uh, observe root galls where this hypertrophy forms and forms the galls now let's see the symptoms. Among the symptoms, there are above ground symptoms and below ground symptoms. First, let's see the above ground symptoms. The very first is the stunted growth. The growth is limited, means it stunts. The growth decreases. Stunted growth. Then comes the dead or devitalized birds. Means the birds are either dead or devitalized. Means uh, there will, it, it's not productive. And for this symptom, the infection would have started before the germination of the seed itself. There it enters and during this stage they exhibit, especially the bud blight of orchids. Then comes the seed gall. Seed gall especially occurs in the flower heads and the best example is the ear cockle in wheat. Next comes the necrosis and discoloration symptom. Uh, this is also a very important symptom as it leads to death of the cells. Next comes the leaf spots. These are exhibited by foliage feeders. Uh, the example is the chrysanthemum foliar nematode and they also exhibit the leaf galls. So these are about the above ground symptoms. When it comes to the below ground symptoms, the important one are root galls. Root galls are exhibited, I said about the hypertrophy, right? So, this will uh, exhibit that uh, especially by the root knot nematodes next comes the root lesions 
these are exhibited by the lesion nematodes now let's see the next symptom excessive root branching that is the excessive root growth uh, usually leads to witch's broom character the hairy root character or bearding character uh, these are usually exhibited by the root knot nematodes which were exhibiting the same root call the next symptom is the root rot symptom especially exhibited by the potato root rot nematodes and there comes the another another symptom that is the injured root tips among these there are three possible condition one is stubby root means forms the clusters uh, the special example is the stubby root nematode of corn there comes the another symptom among the injured root tips that is the coarse root devoid of small roots the sting nematodes exhibit this character and the curly tip one it is exhibited by the digger nematode and injury at the tip occurs now we shall see the extraction techniques of nematodes uh, in this i will just mention the techniques or the methods the extraction methods if you want any explanation or anything please direct message me and bayman's funnel method is one of the important one next comes the corp sieving and gravity method Wooston Brinks electrification technique, then Saint Hort's electrification method, the centrifugation method. Usually, I have seen this one. By this, I will end this video. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe.